Our first finalist in the women's singles, the top seed, 25 years of age, with a current world ranking of 19 already this year, winning the women's singles title at the Swiss Open. Your number one seed from Japan, Sayaka Takahashi. And her opponent, at 21 years of age, with a current world ranking of 119, she is a giant killer here at the New Zealand Open from China, Zhang Yiman. And please welcome, with the official coin toss duties, from Barfoot and Thompson, Cindy Wu. And here in the picture, we've got Sayaka Takahashi, the left-hander, the tall left-hander, waiting for her opponent. The somewhat smaller, Zhang Yiman. And this is the first meeting between the two players. And now we have the whole team here ready for the uh, toss of the coin, ready to... Uh, See who's going to serve and who's going to choose ends and so on. And uh, the uh, savage judge, sorry, the umpire from uh, New Caledonia, Burgess, is instructing the players that they want to choose. Oh, another catch there, that was good. I think that Zhang Yiman possibly won the toss and she chose to stand on this side. Yeah, I think I'm right. And if that's the case, Takahashi is the one to start to serve. But that remains to be seen. Let's see what happens. First, we have our traditional two minutes warming up. where we have a chance to talk about the two players. And here's Sayaka Takahashi, age 25, 168, and 19 on the world ranking. She has been as high as 11 on the world ranking, and that was some years back. It was in March 2014. She's been having a long injury, um, I think last year or just before last year, that kept her out of the game, but she's back in form. She's into top 20 now. And this is the way to the final. And uh, she has been very convincing in the first three matches, as you can see yesterday. I think she was convincing too. I know she lost the first game 21-17, but then winning 21-12, 21-11 in 55 minutes against her compatriot from Japan, Mitani. And here we have Zhang Yiman, age 21, 168 and 119 on the world ranking. But please don't be deceived by that. This ranking is obtained by only playing four tournaments. I will explain that a little bit later. Her highest have been 52 in the world, and that was back on the 14th of December, 2017. Her way to the final, she had to uh, to fight a little bit more, especially in that second round against Fitriani, Fitriani from Indonesia, winning the first game 21-17, losing 21-15, and then winning 21-17 again in 63 minutes. Ready to play. And here we've got the umpire, Sean Philippe Burgess from uh, New Caledonia. And he is helped as service judge, Akashi Okuji. He is from New Zealand.
perfect start. I don't know if you saw that testing serve that was right on that baseline. I think the Indy player would be very happy with a high serve like that. Let's see if uh, Takahashi can do the same now. That's way too short. So my uh, lip reading was not correct. Ladies and gentlemen, Chang on my right, Yiman is the one Sayaka starting Takahashi this Japan. match. Very good shot here from Takahashi. Service over. One all. And I promised to uh, go back and explain a little bit about the world ranking and uh, obviously for Shang Yunan. And the thing is that she's 119 on the world ranking, but she has only played four qualifying tournaments, which means that uh, her, average, her tournament total points is divided by 10. You have to play 10 tournaments to have the maximum points on your world ranking. So having played only four and still 119 on the world ranking is very good. Receiver. Foot. That's unusual to see. Three, I would two. say uh, one of the rules I, I hate in badminton, to be very honest. Zhang, she moved uh, before the serve was struck on a high serve, and uh, obviously that's against the rules, and she was uh, faulted for it and lost the point. Pressure here by Takahashi. The smash down the line, the follow up, the tight tumbling net shot as well. Impossible for Xiang Yiman to counter attack it. But she's looking good, the Chinese. I think she is looking quite comfortable on court. She's moving very quickly. And I don't think she feels the pressure at all. She looks cool, calm, and collected playing her shots. Look at that, that's very, very, very tight. One of the most difficult shots in the, in the Book of Badminton. Four. That drop shot Four. from around the head. Maybe we get to see it here, but look at that, that is very, very close. Five, four. Yeah, that's second time round. Same shot. Service over. Five, all. Yesterday, when we saw the semi final between Takahashi and Mitani, Takahashi was quite a lot in control in that first game and suddenly out of the blue she started to make a lot of mistakes and I would say even unforced Service errors Six, and that's the way you have it with players like Takahashi her, her level of play and technique is, is ambition is so high but not always she can control it and then all these unforced errors are creeping into her game but so far so good Service over. Six all. Six all. That 
and is really a very natural shot from Xiang Yiman. Takahashi is keeping the attack really well. Seven, six. Thank you. So we've spoken a little bit about Xiang Yiman, but uh, I would like to add on a few things. In 2017, she played the Macau Open, where she was actually beating Hori from Japan, who's got a world ranking of 15. So she won in three games, and uh, a few weeks later at the Korean Masters, she lost in three games to Sung ji Hyun from Korea, who is number eight on the world ranking. So this young player is really some promise. She has showed a lot already, but have not competed so much internationally. And that's why, of course, she's not got the ranking as we would expect her to have. Service over. Seven, eight. This is really a strength from Takahashi, this Service smash. Over. This tall player, left-handed, playing different seven. angles as what you normally have when you play right-handed players. She's reaching it very high. And by doing so, she can get these steep, steep cross-court smashes. And it pays off, and she got a point at 9-7 up. Cool. But that was equally good by Xiang Yiman. Good cross-court smash. And look at the way she's following up. I like to see that. She's not only playing that smash and waiting, she follows up straight away. And that's a delight to watch. Oh, that's good. Good body smash on the forehand side of the body. Very tricky place for all players. Ten, eight. Good variation here by Takahashi. Eleven, eight. And Takahashi going interval. into this mid game interval with only eleven eight. Eight. After just eight minutes of play. Could push that backhand. Well, she could see straight eight. away that uh, Xiang Yiman could not retrieve that shot very well and stayed in at the net. This one, this is the push. Look at that. She's under pressure. Can't really get it to the baseline. Can't do much about it. 
and a good follow up by Takahashi and that's in, definitely in. Service over, 9-12. Service over, 13-9. In the previous match in the women's doubles, I mentioned that uh, Japan is the force to be reckoned with. They've got five pairs within the top 20 of the world ranking. But it's even more in the women's singles, believe it or not. 14-9. They've got six players in the top 20 of the women's singles. And Takahashi here, she is number six of the Japanese players. 19 in the world but can you believe it having six players in the top 20 japan is doing really well they have number two and number six so and six and that's obviously uh, akane yamaguchi and uh, okuhara the world champion is uh, number six she's having had some trouble with injuries but i'm sure she will be ready for the yuba cup coming up in two weeks time in bangkok and japan is having a very strong team there Service over, 15, 10. Shadow, play. <laughs> Service over. 11, 15. Use your foot. Shot from uh, Jiang Yiman that was a little bit over. too slow. That cross court she played 11. gave Takahashi a lot of time and options what to play. And obviously, she chose to play that spin drop shot. Here it comes this one here that's too slow, too many options, and too simple to play for Takahashi. And that's on the line so 17 17 11. 11. I would probably have used a challenge if I would have been Xiang Yiman in this case, but she's probably not experienced enough. But maybe she needs a little break, how to regroup and get back into it, because she's 17-11 down at the moment. Service over, 12-17. Just out. Takahashi this time chose not 13, to use a challenge. 17. Maybe wise in the sense that she's she's up, she's having a demanding situation here in that first game, the opening game here. Do not want to waste time on anything. Again, strong initiative from Takahashi. Service over. 18, 13. She's such a natural attacking player. She player. loves the attack. She's opting the pace at any given time she can, waiting for the smashing opportunities as well. That's going wide.
I would be surprised if uh, Takahashi is not getting a lot, lot closer to a top 10 on the world ranking, maybe within the top 10. Can you believe if she goes top 10 as well, I mean, Japan will have three top 10 players on the world ranking in women's singles. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for Zhang Yiman. She didn't take it. That drop shot from Takahashi 20, was way too high at the net point, there. 13. But somehow Yiman never really got to it and tapped it. Not good enough, which meant that Takahashi could uh, retrieve that shot. So seven game points coming up. 20, 13 up for Takahashi. And first time of asking. 21 13. First game won by Sayaka Takahashi. 21 13. And as you can see, the winners from Takahashi from her smashes. She likes to go down to that backhand side of uh, Chang Yiman. And that's very normal for left-handed players. If you are going to watch Lindan in the match after this, you will see the same pattern, absolutely the same. And here we got the confirmation in 15 minutes, 21-13 for Sayaka Takahashi in the first game. Welcome back here to the North Shore Event Center in Auckland. Where Sayaka Takahashi is ready to get the second game going. After having won the first game 21-13, she's been in a very commanding role in this first game. So let's see if the young Chinese, Xiang Yiman, can do anything about it. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. That is so sharp and so close. Just clip the top of the tape. And no Sounds chance for Takahashi to get that one. one. That was really, really an awesome shot. That one there. Look at that. A challenge. I fear it's, it's unsuccessful. But let's see. Yeah, it's out by quite a margin. So the challenge is unsuccessful. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge is. remaining. Only got one challenge left in this Service second over. game as you one, all have two challenges per Play. game. And of course, every time you challenge, if you are successful, you keep your two challenges. Service over. 
two, one. Service over. Two all. Yeah, we've seen that on a few occasions by Three, Chang Yiman. Two. Making, I would call this an unforced error. I know the pressure's there, but at this level of the game, I would say it's an unforced error. And she must start cutting those errors out of her game. If she wants to have a chance to stay with Takahashi and win this second game to force it into a third and deciding game. Very focused and controlled play here by Takahashi. Four, two. Return to shuttle. And just like the first game, Takahashi is now 4 2 up. Nice variation of that short serve. That's bad luck. That's really, really bad luck. And that's very Sang unusual. Taking the second challenge already out. this early in the uh, in the second game. And I fear she might lose this challenge as well, which means she's got no challenges left in this game at all. And look at that. That's way out again. No more challenges for this game. That was an unusual decision. Challenge and successful. No challenges remaining. Five to two. Play. I'm sure that must go down to inexperience. Good recovery shot here by uh, Zhang Yiman as she was in trouble. Service over. Three, when she six. was crossing the net here and then the cross back again, this one is a good recovery shot. Takahashi was totally in control of that rally, but nevertheless, Zhang Yiman won it. Service over. Seven, three. Yeah, I can't help it. I, I mentioned it earlier, but it's a strong, Eight, strong pattern of three. these left handers, the attacking players. They love to go down the line from the around the head position. Not only Sayaka Takahashi wants to do that, so we will see that in the next match with uh, Lin Dan as well, who is the left hander and, and favor that kind of shots. And should we really go down memory lane? There was a, a Danish player who won the uh, Olympics in 1996. 
And uh, he is also the president of BWF today, Kolya Hoyalazen. He was a left-hander, and he did exactly the same. Well read by Takahashi, the way she, she's attacking that net at the top Nine, of the tape and four. really play a tight, tight tumbling net shot is making it extremely difficult for the young Chinese. That's why good play by Zhang Yiman. Really nice. Adding on a lot of pressure. Nine. And that cross court drop shot. The cash sheet, so important. See this drop shot, slightly disguised, Seven, holding nine. it back a little bit, hiding it at the back of the court, and suddenly it comes. Really, really nice shot. So far, two points on it, and trailing two points, 7-9. Lock of the net core seven. here for Takahashi. Again, look at that. Very deceptive. Taking the top of the tape. And of course, impossible to defend for Xiang Yiman. And here, again, Eleven, clever seven. change of Interval. serve, the variation into the serve. Wonderful how she's serving wide. And she's now into the mid game interval with a lead of 11 7. In 12 minutes. Coaches and players could 11, hear, seven. you know, the umpire calling the 20 seconds. Um, the Japanese coach in the white T-shirt behind the court of Takahashi is a former Japanese women single number one for quite some time. Uh, this uh, player by the name of Hirozi. She did really well at the All England on a few occasions, and as far as I remember, she had a, a semi final appearance uh, one year at the All England as well. Oh, that's a good play. Oh, that's going wide. I cannot believe that. 
I would say, though, it's a very, very strong indication of, of good character, understanding of the game here. We've got Hirose sitting at the back. But the fact that Takahashi was not using her best shot, you know, going down the line, what she normally would do, but actually so playing that over. variation is very, very important. Eight, Even though she missed it, 11. it's important. And here we've got coach Hirose, obviously supporting her player all the way. Even though she lost the point here. Play. That's a close call. But that's when it's nice to have a challenge. The Hershey challenges called. So let's in. see what Hawkeye has got to say. Service over, 12, 8, play. That's when it's good to have a challenge. You can pull it out of the pocket. And especially when you're successful, you keep your challenges. Service over, 9, 12. So Takahashi has still got two challenges remaining in this game. Service over, 13-9. <laughs> yes, another challenge is coming up. <laughs> Challenges go in. Interesting. I actually think that Takahashi did that favourite shot uh, cross court from the net from the forehand side, and she got it all the way she wanted it, but she forgot to follow up. And this time, the challenge is wrong. The shot is in. Challenge is successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10, 13, play. Return the shuttle quicker. Yeah, the umpires here, very observant, trying to make sure that the rules of the game is upheld by you know, Bantam have to be a continuous game. No rest in between rallies unless it's really, really Service necessary. Order. 14-11. So holding the, the shuffle for too long is obviously delaying how quick Shang Yiman can uh, start serving. Yeah, favourite shot. Paid off again. 15-11. And retaining her four-point lead. Yeah, I think China is in trouble here. Lots of supports for China. But uh, Takahashi from Japan, I think, wants it otherwise. And she is faulted now. The service is struck too high, higher than one 
115 centimeters. According to our service judge. See, that was actually interesting. Um, if I may put a point forward here, because uh, Takahashi was actually celebrating that shot or before the linesman actually 17, made his decision 12. whether he was in and out. Which means that, in a way, you can say she was trying to influence the, the line judge on his decision. And I think the umpire should have picked it up. Anyway, that's history already. 17-12 for Takahashi, now 18-12. 18-12. Team. I still think that Chang Yi Man had a good chance. You could still see she could close the gap, but now 19 12 down seems like a very, very tall order. Again, nice control on that drop shot from Takahashi. Called out, and the challenge is coming again. Takahashi challenges called out. I think that's a good time to use it. Is she successful? She would have eight match points, and she is successful. It's in. Right, we are 12. at match point 2012. A whole host of them, eight to be specific. It's wired. Service over 13 20. Beautiful drop, drop shot. It's doing the damage. Too little, too late. 14 20. The damage return to her company. Uh, to she's going to get a caution. Freedom. Quite rightly so. She's been asked once before. That's still 60 match points. Available. And here it comes. Game. The favorite attacking shots down the line did the damage. Celebrating with Coach Rosi. And Sayaka Takahashi, the winner of this year's New Zealand Open, winning in two games. 21-13-21-14. Match won by Sak Sayaka Takahashi, 21-13-21-14. And all just in 38 minutes. And confirmation, 21-13-21-14. 
21-13, It's wonderful to see when the players are getting so happy as we saw Sayaka Takahashi here, how happy she was to win this final, how much it means to these players. And now, of course, she's going in for the uh, interview. Sayaka, congratulations. You're the women's singles champion here at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Badminton Open. Such a comprehensive win. Did you feel in control right throughout that match? えっと、今日はあの、今日の相手が初めてだったので、昨日しっかりビデオを見て研究することができましたし、今日もあの、ラリーが長くなると思ったので、そこで我慢しようと心がけました。So she thought that the rallies were really long and she's just trying to keep in control of it, but this is the first time that she's ever played against the opposition and she was just trying to figure out what she would do. So she was watching her a lot yesterday. Um, but she thought that she could do the play, the shots that she wanted to. Um, and that worked really well for her. Shot making aside, what was the most pleasing part of your game today? Uh, so she's just making sure that she's really patient during the long rallies and deciding exactly where she wants to hit the shot. Congratulations, you're a champion. Thank you.
Welcome to the presentation for the women's singles at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open. Our presenters for the women's singles, Kiri Barfoot, Director, Barfoot and Thompson. Rianne Wong, Secretary General, New Zealand Chinese Sports Association. And Nigel Skelt, BWF Council Member. Please welcome the finalists for the women's singles. Our first presentation is made to our umpire from New Caledonia, Jean-Philippe Berger. And our service judge from New Zealand, Bikash Mukherjee. Runner-up. In the women's singles final at the 2018 Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open from China, Zhang Yiman. <laughs> Your winner and women's singles champion for 2018 from Japan, Sayaka Takahashi. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's celebrate the women's singles final and your champion, Takahashi. And here the winner, Sayaka Takahashi from Japan, playing an awesome final, winning comfortably 21-13, 21-14 against a young player from China, Zhang Yiman. Oh, always nice to have these kind of photos together on the podium. And some always a little bit more happy than others. So that's the way it is. It was a good final. It was nice to see Takahashi play her high level of badminton and not make so many mistakes as what we saw yesterday. And the next one coming up is obviously men's singles. It's Lindan against Jonathan Christie from Indonesia.